Okay, so you might have read all about how WSL works, but never actually have tried it. That's gonna be a quick video on real action, for the windowless guys, and on the end I will put some thoughts, how this may affect Linux desktop use. Alright, let's start. I have Kali Linux with NPM and Notum WSL already, so the next move is to open File Explorer, and create a folder for our project. Then, I'm going to open a Linux terminal directly inside the project location. To get that option, press Shift, just in case you didn't know. Then, we typically create a new node project, with npm in it. And then, we install the dependencies. In this case, React and Next.js. So far, everything looks identical to Linux, but it's not. An issue with WSO, is that everything is slower, especially network connections, and I.O. operations. However, Microsoft with WSL2, is promising to achieve similar performance like working on the native Linux environment. And it doesn't stop there. WSL2 will include a Linux kernel, making even possible the use of containers. Anyway, NPM downloaded the packages, so let's continue. Now, notice that I opened Visual Studio code from inside the WSL, but it is actually installed on Windows. That's a new and pretty neat feature of Visual Studio code, currently available on Insider's release. I won't explain it, but I have a link on YouTube description with the official documentation. On bottom left, there is a badge, that notifies us that we are working inside the WSL runtime. Ok, so next I will create a page on Next.js. What's truly awesome here, is the seamless integration of WSL. Our files in our code editor, are on Windows, but whatever we do, is actually running on Linux. If we run it, it will open a port on 3000, that will be accessible from Windows. So that worked as expected, and our next app opened on 3000. And if we create a new file, Hot Reload will work too. I'm sorry, force of habit. So what's happening here, is that Windows are getting all the applications, all the hardware support, and now they even get Linux tools. Question is, if WSL will benefit Linux desktop, since it will get more promotion, or if the large Linux community of developers, will move on Windows. It might be a new operating system by Google, or maybe Microsoft open source Windows, or even Amazon may release their own Linux desktop. You see, open source is here to stay. But I really doubt, that the current Linux communities can lead the desktop, or even the current companies like Red Hat or Canonical. Not in the short future at least. Because eventually, communities will be the only solution. Because communities is anarchy, and order without power. The ultimate perfection. <laughs> 